Hello, and welcome to another week of episodes of the Literary Lutheran Reads His Altar with Luther. This episode is for Monday, and today we read Psalm 149. The 149th Psalm is a psalm of thanks for the blessing that God is gracious and merciful to his people, that they know they have a gracious God and that they rightly should rejoice. They have this blessing or grace, which is rightly called the forgiveness of sins, that God will not avenge how evil and sinful they are. Therefore, this psalm in reality belongs in the New Testament. It calls itself a new song to sing to the King of Zion, whom they should praise on their couches, that is, in the church where they come together. Similarly, Isaiah called the churches and altars in which Israel committed fornication, that is, idolatry, couches or beds. Again, it belongs to the New Testament to have a sharp sword in hand to punish the heathen, to throw kings and stock in dungeons, and to take vengeance, as it is written. This is a vengeance that is spoken of in the scriptures, that Abraham's seed should strike down idolatry in all the world through the gospel, the spiritual sword taking prisoner all the holiness of the kings and the wise, and subject them to Christ, as Paul says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. Praise the Lord! Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise in the assembly of the godly. Let Israel be glad in his Maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their King. Let them praise his name with dancing, making melody to him with tambourine and lyre. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. He adorns the humble with salvation. Let the godly exult in glory. Let them sing for joy on their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their throats and two-edged swords in their hands, to execute vengeance on the nations and punishments on the peoples, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute on them judgment written. This is honor for all his godly ones. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This has been the Literary Lutheran Reads the Psalter with Luther, and I wish you a blessed day.